Actually, uh, I heard that even in the Philippines, they even train you go to school to become a virtual assistant, right? Wow. Um, in Latin America, that doesn't exist. People in the U.S. want Latinos because they're on the same time zone. Time zone. They speak Spanish. Spanish and uh, the culture. The culture. culture. Yeah. So we're targeting Latinos for clients. We hire a bunch of engineers. We hire a bunch of team lead leads from other companies, and we tell them to work in our company as, for example, a client success manager. At what point did you hire your first VA outside um, the US? We got our first VA 2019. Like nice. after doing it for a little bit with Americans. I was like, you know what? I hear about these VAs and everyone talking about them. Let me try it. Yeah. And dude, it was crazy because I was paying the Americans, you know, I don't know what it came out to per hour, but let's say it was like 10 bucks an hour. Mm. And then, you know, I get the VAs at three bucks an hour mm. and they outperformed the Americans. Mm. And I was like, what the heck? Like these guys get more leads and they were way cheaper. I could hire three, four times as many of them. It was crazy. Now they couldn't close, no. you know, they weren't closing deals, but they no. were generating the leads. And then I'd have my best Americans go close them. And, you know, I, ever since then I've had VAs in my business. Yeah. And do you, do you hire Filipinos uh, at first? Well, bro, freaking I'm Filipino, on, man. Of course, of course. Look, I, re I, re I respect Latinos too. You know, I'm trying to learn Spanish, but yeah. I got to support my people. Of course. <laughs> and we, we do too. That's funny. People see our name. They're like, oh, you guys only hire from Latin America, which yeah, yeah. is absolutely not true. We hire... Probably 30 to 40 percent from the Philippines. So. Why are you calling remote Latinos then? <laughs> because because, because the, the, the concept was people in the U.S. want uh, Latinos because they're on the same time zone. Time zone. They speak Spanish. Spanish and uh, they the, have culture, culture. the culture. The yeah. culture. So we're targeting Latinos for clients. Yeah. However, we have a separate company which is called Remote Fam. And that is our place where we find all the people in the world. Because we really want to hire from anywhere. We've hired Re from like remote fam, remote yeah. fam. That's we. That's just is targeting. it with a ph? <laughs> <laughs> that's how be. I would do. Which, it by the, the way, Filipinos. we also own a bunch of other remotes. Yeah, um, remote Africans, remote Asians. <laughs> yeah, we own it. We, we own, own it. it. We got them all. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you're building a brand around them all. One hundred percent. It's like yeah, half of my team and his team are in the Philippines. You know, we've we yeah. hired tons of people. Why so. are there so many VAs in the like? Why is the Philippines such a huge hub for it? Well, first off, it's there's 120 million people there, which I didn't even know until I started working with Filipinos. Which Bro, is I went to the Philippines a month ago for the first time ever in my life. That's right. You told us that. And yeah, I was shocked at, like, we flew into Manila. I was like, this place is massive. Massive. I'm like, this is nuts. I would have never expected that. Ever. So that's the first thing. The other thing is... Um, I, want to, I don't know the exact history, but I know somewhere a long time ago they got, you know, conquered and they started learning English through being... Yeah, the Spaniards. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, the, a lot of the Filipinos actually work with Australians. So their English, a lot of times is, you know, they have like an Australian accent. But I think they also, they they are such hard workers and loyal people at yeah. heart. Like you, you hear Filipinos care about family, culture, loyalty, and just working their ass off just to making sure they can take care of their family. And I think people just... Now it's being exploited to the ultimate max. Like there's so many VA companies that are based in the Philippines. So yeah, we right. saw an opportunity where we're like, well, yes, we want to hire people in the Philippines. But, you know, there's like almost a billion people in Latin America, like <laughs> not even including Brazil. Yeah. Right. So for us, it was just an opportunity where we can help. Hey, let's help the Filipinos, but also help Latinos. Yeah. So actually, uh, I heard that even in the Philippines, they even train you go to school to become a virtual assistant. Right. Wow. Um, in Latin America, that doesn't exist. If you learn English, it's because you went out of your own way. Mm. Like if you learn English, it's because you're hungry. Mm. Um, so in the Philippines, English is more of a second language rather yeah. than if you go to Mexico, if you go to Colombia, Venezuela. It's not a second language. It's just an optional language that you get to learn by yourself or at school. Yeah. So what you see in Latin America is it's essentially what you see when people come here in the U.S., whether that's legally or illegally yeah. and you s it's hunger right mm -hmm. and and ultimately you want the best hunger from your employees uh, because they you you want to make sure that you find people that are willing to um, work hard right yeah. we're willing to just follow your leadership and at the same time give it all give it a hundred percent yeah i'm biased obviously being half filipino but like i do think that like you said Filipinos are super loyal um, and they're like the nicest 
people ever. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> ever. Super no, nice. literally. <laughs> yeah, they're just yeah. like always happy. I think also, that's why you, they make great nurses. When you when you went, you might have been one of the tallest people there, right? They're like oh, they're yeah, relatively like, I'm like a they're like, who is this this guy's a celebrity, man? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. um yeah. No, I I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, so I, yeah. wh- one thing I know I've noticed too is that people pay more for the Latinos though. Mm. Is that true? Yeah. Also, they want more money. Like it's a, it's more expensive to live in yeah. Latin America, depending on the country. But you get Spanish, which is correct. Very huge. useful. Huge. Like yeah. Texas, California, Vegas, Florida. I mean, yeah, Vegas yeah. is important. Yeah. Yeah. We just got picked up by. Well, actually, earlier before yeah. the first one yeah. was a Latino. Yeah. Uh, I think you have some, like Liliana. Yeah. In, in front desk. She's yeah, we got Latina. a lot of Spanish speakers here. Yeah. So yeah, I think um, like what l- let's talk about. I mean, I want to. I mean, so many things I want to talk with you guys about, but like, since we're on the topic of VAs and everything, right? My assumption is most of the VAs people are using you guys to to hire for them or for cold calling. Is that correct? A lot of them are, but there's also lead managers. That's becoming a really hot topic. And uh, executive assistant. That's another one. Graphic designing, uh, video editing, which is yeah. something that we've helped uh, Javi and yep. you know your media company with. So. I would say that um, for sure cold calling because that is that's like where you start. I feel like everybody's career as a VA starts as a cold caller and then they progress. <laughs> they get better skills. <laughs> well, they, that's like they're, you know, that's I, the easy I started, yeah. I, you started, you were a hustler. I started five guys, you know what I'm saying? That's so right. for me, that was like my five guys is cold calling yeah. and then kind of just upgrading from that. Um, and then now, I mean, believe it or not, there are closers in Latin America, like acquisition right. managers. These guys are closing yeah. deals. Here, closing here, deals. Here's one thing that a lot of people don't no, know I, about. I don't believe it. Yeah, I meant it. Like, we have our closer, <laughs> Johan. You jump into a call with us. Yeah. Johan is Colombian. Yeah. He's, what is he? He's closing home sellers? He's closing, He right now he's closing investors. High, high and ticket. High ticket. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, investors and agency owners. Well, we, we've placed a bunch of people that are closing uh, um, homeowners, so. So what happens is that they get hired as a lead manager. They prove themselves after two, three, four months. And that's yeah. their next advancement because they don't want to stu- be stuck as a co-caller yeah. or lead manager. They want to advance to become an acquisition manager. And if they speak great English, they come from sales backgrounds. I mean, yeah. I, I haven't been to the Philippines. We plan on going hopefully this year. Yeah. But in Latin America, every other corner, someone's selling you something. <laughs> yeah, they're like, all hustlers. Yeah, they're hustlers, yeah. hustlers, hustlers. Imagine so, if you combine English with a system. like If you just gave me every Mexican at the airport, bro. bro Unbelievable, exactly. especially in Cancun. Yeah, I mean, dude, you get I'm, off. It's next like, time I go to Mexico, I'm taking ten of them back with me and throwing them on the a, sales floor, dude. Yeah, great man. idea, Absolutely. honestly. That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> I mean, we went to Playa and we were like basically interviewing where they go. Yeah, <laughs> we're interviewing all these people. <laughs> yeah, you guys like, want to have you heard life? of remote Latinos or Latino remotos? That's how it's called. Latino remotos. Yeah, it's yeah. Latino yeah. remotos. Yeah. Um, so uh, one thing that people don't realize is okay. So Filipinos are great. Uh, workers, I love them. We have a lot of Filipinos, uh, and I live I live with the Filipino. But I, they're so nice, right? They're yeah. kind of like the. They're not going to be good salespeople. They're like the no. Canadian. They're too of nice. The Asians. They're customer service. Yes. Say yeah. that again. They're the Canadians, <laughs> the Canadians, <laughs> of, the Asians. Canadians yes. of the Asians. Yes. Canadians yes. of the Asians. Yes. They're so nice. They're not going to challenge you. They're not going to speak up. They always said that the Philippines was the Mexicans of Asia. Mm. This is the first I'm hearing that they're the Canadians of Asia. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because I'm Canadian, so I can yeah. talk shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. But so they're they're super nice. That doesn't make them very good salespeople. They're too. Right. They're not. They're not. Um. They're too agreeable. Mm-hmm. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. While, uh, for example, if you go to Colombia, you go to Medellin. Uh, Everyone is trying to negotiate. They're trying to four x, five x the price on anything. Uh, even if it, <laughs> even even if I am Colombian, they're gonna try to make the most amount of money. Yeah. Or if, even when they're buying something, they're trying to negotiate as much as possible as yes. well. Yeah. And so you ha- you have this not only the hustle culture, but also the sales and negotiation culture yeah. in in Colombia, for example. And um, and like it or not, like a lot of these people. They're just finding out about this virtual job, remote job opportunities. So it's they are. Brand new. So for example, they we have it. a bunch of engineers. We hire a bunch of engineers. We hire a bunch of team lead leads from other companies. Uh, we we take people from Realtor.com, for example, in yeah. Latin America, and we tell them to work in our company as, for example, a client success manager. Right. Right. They work as a client success manager for us, and they're able to take that leadership role like very, very easily. We, you just need to train them a little bit more and of what it takes to actually manage a entrepreneur, uh, American entrepreneur. Yeah. Or for example, in the real estate space, well, not only creative, executive assistants, um, 
lead managers, acquisition managers, but there's a bunch of different roles that they can ac actually cover. Because when you hear the term VA for the first time, it'll be like, okay, so the VA will do my kind of basic stuff, like yeah. kind of lower, lower level sp stuff. But they don't think that they can, you know, lead the team, manage entire team, projects. Uh, they could be just... I still people. have that false belief. Hmm. Yeah. And it's okay. I yeah. understand it because it's relatively a new thing. Uh, ever since um, COVID happened, a lot of, you know, remote things are very still new. So still, people are still adapting to it. Yeah. But one of our mission is actually to change that belief because remote Latinos are as capable as an American. They have same type of skill sets to just cost lower to an American business. Like, let's talk about the cost. What do they cost? So we t always encourage them to start at 5 to $7 an hour minimum to get started. But a lot of them are going to, uh, depending on the experience that they have, the skill sets that they have, um, or where they are right now, yeah. well, they want to start a little bit higher. But yeah. 5 to 7 is a good start. Yeah, yeah, we don't do the cheap VAs, you know. And we, it's, you mentioned the word VA. Like, I don't even like calling our team VAs. We call them remote team members. Right, right. Because like, the word VA just is almost like... It's it like a low level. Yes, yeah, it's, like, it's a little bit. Low level. It's been diluted through time. Very diluted. I think yeah. that VA at some point it was like, wow, this is great, st great people that are helping me virtually. At some point, it started uh, diluting through time. The market and like, just got okay. so saturated with so many VA exactly. companies. So it's like, yeah, even it applies the same thing as Filipinos, right? Yeah. Like people don't don't sh don't don't give them the opportunity to fail enough, uh, and so they can sh they cannot show up their skills. Yeah, they can they cannot. They cannot show the true things. To yeah. the, they cannot show the true abilities, and that's what happens in a lot of companies that have virtual assistants. They only keep it there. 